Yeah, I wanted to ask Flamenco, like, do you do you have a problem with me? Because I see you're no. liking tweets on Twitter that are like shitting on me. So what's that all about? I'm I'm liking tweets that was mostly shitting on that uh that that stream that I guess you and Baked were on that Ralph was watching the uh, the the lol cow uprising thing. Yeah, yeah, because um, like personally, I'm kind of like you know that exact class of people that I guess you want, uh, or at least in that you clip, want to not be able more, to. But big tech and Ralph has always been on top of everything. That's right. Love both you guys. Wanted Thank to you, man. Very kind of you. Appreciate that. Uh, maintain a livelihood. Yeah, but do you have a problem with me in particular? Explicitly, you like yeah, I, you have I think, a problem with me. I think this take, I think this take on the uh, DMCA stuff is bad, but otherwise, no, not really. All right, yeah, that's fine. Do you, you, um, you siding with Ralph is probably not a good idea, or just being like friends with him probably isn't a good idea. Well, I don't, I don't really, I don't. I, who I, is that, by the way? Who's the other guy, Big Tech? Do you know? Yeah, he tells us that he's like some faggot who's like a mod in the chat and he's friends oh. with Flamenco and he has a clips channel. He doesn't make any content. He just like posts up clips and he's kind of a dork. And in about five minutes, Beardson's going to start shitting on his face. Yes. I honestly like that. That I think is like the fucking gayest shit that's come out of all this is I do not give a shit about any of people who are still friends with well, Ralph. That's not I, what I used to be like the most like staunch like friend towards Ralph when like people were shitting on him all the time. I like, I don't know, dude, I, I just, I'm not a big fan of this, you know, Oh, this person's loyal to a friend. So we're going to shit on him. I think like people have bad takes and they should be called out, but I don't know. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna like, you. Oh, you need to like disavow your friend or anything like that. I'm just warning you. He's like burned every bridge with, pretty much every friend he's had in the past. It's only a matter of months before he uh, does the same. Do you oh, really? It'll, it'll, oh, be, really? it'll be over something stupid, too. You'll say oh, something wow. really, really fun. You'll well, see. Yeah, well, well, now that I've heard that, uh, you know, I've known Ralph for years and met him many times in person, but a stranger <laughs> aligned. <to> the- <laughs> <laughs> right? Dude, this is beautiful. Yeah, I've known yeah. Ralph for years, met him many times in person, but on his show, I don't even know how many times. But some stranger on a live stream coming up and warning me, he's really concerned, Big Tech. He's really yeah. concerned for, yeah. for what might sense. happen. Yeah, he's really he's really worried about what might yeah. happen to Nick. He's, uh, <laughs> oh, he's just looking really, out for really Nick, really you know, Nick. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's, yeah, he's a big, he's a big Nick guy. guy. He warned Nick. Yeah, he, he's a big Nick guy. Yeah, but, uh, you know, I've known Ralph for years and met him many times in person, but a stranger aligned like, told me not to be friends with them. Yeah, let me text him right you. and say we're not friends anymore. I'm not telling you, hey, Ralph, it's over. I heard some guy online told me something that I know. Friendship uh, over. Ever. I don't know this person. But Damn it, I didn't check my text yet so before the stream. Fuck. I mean, I'm not telling you you can't. You can be friends with them. I'm just warning you it's going to happen. It's only a matter of time. He's yeah. Okay. Be. Well, I'll, I'll take my chances with that. Maybe, maybe he will. Maybe he will. And you know, if uh, many people have done, I've been betrayed before, but yeah. Gator yeah. was Gator was friends with them for years too. So okay. Well, I, mean, go, I don't. I don't operate that way. I operate three dollars. Oh, on, uh, you know, my rapport with somebody, not, not because people say uh, that about every, people used to say that about me. People used to say, oh, Nick Fortress is a bridge burner and whatever. So that's a bunch of bullshit. But anyway, um, listen, Flamenco, mm-hmm. you know, I don't, I don't have a problem with you, by the way. Yeah, I said that. On, I remember I said that on Sunday. Yeah. I don't have a problem with you. Um, but my take on the DMCA thing, and I put it on Telegram, it's like, look, People say, oh, well, DMCA is different because that's like a legal process. It's like, okay, well, defamation is technically illegal, but we know that when you're a public figure, the standard for defamation is impossible to meet. So to defame somebody consistently is technically abusing a loophole in the law, in my opinion. And all I'm trying to say, and listen, this is what I'm trying to say. What, it's whatever. I think I think people can talk shit. I think people can make fun and joke and, you know, it is what it is. But then I also think that when shit comes back the other way, can't cry foul. That's all. 
That's the well, thing. Like, 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 so <laughs> yeah, in that in that regard, like, I 100 percent agree with agreement with you on that. Um, you know, like, I think the day afterwards, Ralph dedicated to like 45 minutes to shitting on me and posting my face stocks and stuff like that. I, I honestly didn't give a shit. I honestly did not care. By the way, um, I want to point out that, that, that he was on a show where he was the guest and they had his face posted the whole time while he was a guest on the show. So to me, after you do something like that, your face docs is, you know, that's, there's no face docs. That's your face. Um, and you willingly participated in a program where they showed your face the whole program. Uh, you didn't leave I the show. For a second. Was he talking about Rand? No, he went on Chemo Casino and he oh, was on there guy. for three the hours flamenco. and he got grilled. Yeah, Flamenco. And they yeah. had his picture up there the whole time. It's like, okay, well. You, you didn't go. leave the show. You didn't say, oh, this is bullshit or raise any hell, right? Um, yeah, so, you, yeah, you have no right to, to sit there and even really even bring that up, honestly, as like an actual claim. But The DMCA stuff, one, I have no way to actually redress it because Ralph has no intention of actually pursuing it. So I'm locked in limbo with a strike on my channel for 10 days while, you know, he runs out the clock. I know he won't fucking take it to court. He's already expressed these. I don't know if you know this, but it's 10 business days as well. So the weekend days don't count. The weekend days don't count. Flamenco, I I think you might want to look into that. Take it to court. He has no actual good faith (laughs) intention to, you know, follow through on it. So, you know, it's a little bit different because now like, you know, I can't stream on YouTube for a whole seven days. This is the primary means of which I make money. And I'm making about like $2,000 a month. So I'm out $500 because some person who literally just making two grand a a month. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to, I want to brag, but, uh, <laughs> Making significantly more than that. There's no uh, actual consequences for him doing it. Besides, <laughs> well, I'm just going to DMCA strike him I mean, and not I show him. And that. just like, you know. I'll sue him then. I mean, sue, sue him hey, if I, it's a false I mean, claim. I'm already I'm already talking to lawyers. And Please, if let's damages yeah. get to that point, like, I like, probably will. And um, it's way more than that. Actually, yeah, like, and, like, like yeah. listen, and, and, and then that's fair. And then Ralph can't say, oh, you can't do... It's all to me. And by the way, I'm saying this is somebody and I've been on both sides of it. I've been on, I've been slandered. I've also been falsely reported, you know, and years ago I got kicked off YouTube in 2020. So niggas be like our, our poor YouTube channel. It's like, I haven't been on YouTube for two years. I haven't been on Twitter for like almost a year. I've been banned from Facebook and Instagram for over a year. Um, yeah, suing over $500. Yeah, that's a good idea. And when JF Gripey came out and said, oh, I fussy reported his shadow. Yeah, and he was a massive faggot for that. Yeah, but, and, but when that happened, I didn't go and say, oh, I can't believe that. Like, I just said, yeah, like, whatever. We knew it was going to happen. This is the game that yeah. we play. And then I went on D Live. And anyway, so. So, and I, of course, I I report people on Twitter. I've reported people many times. Like, these tactics are used against me. And slander is a tactic that's used against me. So it's like, in my opinion, when YouTubers squeal about reporting, it's like they want to take an option off the table to respond to like their their way of going after you it's sort of like it's like how like women yeah. have created this society where men can't like push them around it's like you've taken the one thing off the table the one advantage that a man would have over a woman in the man woman dynamic and it's the same thing a youtuber is going to squeal and say oh, this unwritten code they you know, that's beyond the pale he sent ten dollars imagine using your low income on an important stream as a defense yeah i don't know that was baffling <laughs> I, I didn't hear i hadn't heard him say that before i was like okay wow and it's I like, almost feel bad now <laughs> i heard that i was like damn maybe i was a little hard on this nigga what the fuck yeah because Boy, yeah I, mean, I literally thought going. i'm not kidding when i heard that I was like, damn, maybe I was literally too hard on this nigga. I didn't know it was that bad. Like, That's the advantage <laughs> of the so-called deplatform. Is that all he's got? I don't think Whoa, he has wow. another job either. Like, I was I was literally sitting here thinking, like, damn, maybe I was too harsh. You know? And, and so- I would agree with you if I was in any way at any point advocating for Ralph to be removed from being able to stream. 
Like yeah, this is not a. Uh, I would 100% agree with you if I in any way advocated for Ralph to like not have a livelihood. If I if I was like I think yeah, Ralph should be in jail for this. No 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 no. I at no point ever tried to flag any of his channels. I literally one of the first things I said when I came on here, Ralph flagged my channel, but the people who fucking flagged his uh, his YouTube restreams can eat shit. Fuck those people. Yeah, but that's the thing. I mean, you're just crying like, well, that's not fair. If you don't want him to DMCA your no, shit, I just think it's gay. I, I, I okay. just think it's genuinely, I think it's genuinely yeah. gay when people do when, that. I think bad things happening to me are gay too. But like, I also understand that like <laughs> you you step onto the playing field and then and then things happen. You know, like I, I agree. Like from your perspective, I would say, mm. oh yeah, that's cheap. That's fucking gay. Like that's not fair. But like ultimately. I like the the moralizing of it to me. It's like you, the moralizing is just a is like a, a weapon, basically. Like exactly. because you can't retaliate, you have exactly. to say, "Oh, well, that's just like outside well, of the I'm playbook." I'm not taking away something. Ralph's ability to retaliate. He's literally taking away my ability to retaliate. Not really. You can counter sue. There's I already, have, oh, I've yeah. already yeah. filed a counter strike. I still can't stream for that seven days. Yeah. And I, I don't think you understand what I'm saying. You're like, yeah, like he imposed that on you. You know, you fucked with him. He retaliated by fucking with you. You can't stream for seven days or whatever. And the, when you can't stream for seven days, you go on and on and say, well, that's just not fair because you can't do anything else. And it's like, so are, is it really like it's a big violation of a principle or are you employing this like or somebody like employing for, a standard to like say, oh, well, that tactic should be banned or something because for somebody like for somebody like Ralph, whose like biggest stream was the Monday Matt stream where a person with an incredibly thin skin falsely By the way, that was video. that was not my biggest stream, <laughs> not even close to my biggest stream goes and then like hems and haws and lies about it. Yeah, I think that is, I think it's hypocritical. Yeah, he may be, I'm not, that's the thing. I'm not talking yeah. about Ralph, I'm oh, talking about you. it's I'm hypocritical. Not, uh, yeah, Ralph may be a hypocrite. I'm not trying to defend everything Ralph has yeah, ever no, done. No, I'm not asking you to, I'm not asking you and to. And I said that in the live chat. I don't yeah. even think it's about Ralph. I think it's more about Medicare and you. Like, specifically, because I went on the channel on Sunday, and I was like, yeah, I think that's kind of just like, you know, talk shit, get hit type stuff. And then everybody yeah. freaks out at me that night and the next day. So Francis supports fuck. So Francis does it. So Francis basically said this. And it's like, nigga, I'm the fucking nigga that is on a federal no fly list. I'm the guy yeah, that's, that's, blame too. that's also, yeah. Monday Matt sit there and lied about his flagging for two hours while I did mine openly here on air and then told you why I did it openly. So it's not the same thing at all, but I saw somebody in chat point that out. Yes, you are correct. Bullshit too. Do you think that thank, and thank you, Mackie, for, by the way, for the last super chat. I appreciate you. Has been, you want to talk about livelihood? I was making, uh, what's the, I was making five figures a month. Okay. Yeah. Like, and like high five figures a month before I got banned from all payment processors before Jan six, I got, Six figures, as you know, $500,000 taken out of my bank account. And when all that stuff happened, you know, I, I didn't go on and on like, oh, that's not fair. I said, well, like, this is what's happening. I said, that that's just how it is. Like, yeah, we challenge legitimacy. Well, you, you, you fight, and then the you, government you fought against it. You fought it against it, though, yeah. right? And, yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm replying. But I'm not saying, yeah. like, huh, pretty hypocritical of the left <laughs> to treat me like an enemy of the state. I'm like, that's not, that's that's not, not, that's not, not I'm not saying I'm not saying that it's like from the left because I fucking expect these people to do it. I fucking already know that these people run and do this shit. Ralph is engaging in that exact same behavior, though, is 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 the problem I have, I would say. Yeah. And like, uh, again, I think that it's this is just par for the course. And, and I'm not saying you don't have a right to be like mad about it, but I just think that the like um this idea that he violated a code or some like unwritten rule. What I'm trying to say is he violated you're a principle it. that he's already extensively proclaimed that he has. Okay. It's, it's well, not even could, a, yeah, yeah, sure. You could call him a hypocrite, but I'm just saying like you're you're saying it's bad because it's bad for me. And I'm saying it doesn't it doesn't violate I, some I, standard. I I, I think that I think it's the bad take to uh you know go up for but i mean it's your take to do dude i'm not gonna tell you how the fucking do okay but you're not you're not yeah. i mean okay so now you're not even arguing you're just telling me like well you can make your bad take but 
I mean, look, I do think I, uh, I do think it's a bad take, but I'm not gonna like I don't know. I'm not I'm not trying to like you guilt, I'm not I'm not trying to <laughs> you're not gonna argue. trying to like <laughs> into like not having it, you know what I mean? Yeah, which is yeah, okay. But um anyway, so <laughs> so that means it's just been my position on it. And uh yeah. you know, like and, and I'll talk about me then and, and not just brow because you know I'm again Well, you can't defend your own position? You're not gonna yeah. argue? What are you just a bitch? Well that's what he did this past weekend. Uh, anytime Nick was basically calling him a loser, saying he was getting dominated to his face, and he's like, "Yeah, okay," agreeing with him. Like, it's like, okay, wow, what a bitch. And I'm not trying to like attack you or whatever. I just disagree yeah. with your response to this. Um, you know, in my situation, I'm a person that has been like so lied about. Like what Vosh did, because I know Medicare is probably com- going to come at me with the Catboy stuff yeah. on Friday, because that's like cheap and it. easy. Ten yeah, bucks. Catboy, Catboy, you're gay. Okay, it's, ten bucks is um, it's because, it's because that it's because that's funny. Well, don't talk about it, or else Jim's going to find out, and then he's going to specifically do it for a take or whatever. Shut up, Michael. Oh, I just said it in my mouth. He's going to be watching this. <laughs> well, hang on. The point I'm trying to make about that is. Like that, that exists out there because of a video by Vosh, which is defamatory. He put out a video on YouTube and it's, it meets the standard of defamation because he tells knowing lies in there with the intention to harm my reputation. It's malicious. That would meet the standard of malice. And you have to go through discovery for him to, to know that he knew what he was telling was wrong and it's, and so on. But it meets the definition of malicious defamation you're saying a lie because he put in there things like he said oh uh catboy cammy was a prostitute and nick paid for his flight and all this other stuff that just was like fabricated out of thin air that's defamation that has hurt my reputation for years I, and the point yeah. i was trying to make is that now on friday i'm still going to be made fun of because of that because of a malicious defamatory rumor that was started years ago by a guy who was still on youtube with lots and lots of subscribers and like if the link is more worked, likely a pedophile than anybody that he accuses well, of being yeah, true no doubt it is it with if the legal system worked i would be able to sue him for damages i would be able to sue him and prove defamation to get damages but the system is broken and i can't do that and mm. So that's just like a demonstration of, you know, people say, oh, like you can't, you're thin skinned. It's like, I I honestly don't care if I was thin skinned, I couldn't do this job because people make fun of me all day. People rip everything about me, my hair, my, my height, my weight, my Hispanic heritage, the cowboy thing. I mean, you know, if I was thin skinned, I, I wouldn't have been able to do this for five years without like a meltdown. I go live every night perfectly fine but we're talking about like malicious defamatory rumors like you're damn right i'm gonna report that you're damn if i can't sue you for damages because the legal system is broken you're damn right also i've been reported so i don't have a platform to answer those on youtube i don't have a platform on twitter to answer allegations like that so like you're damn right i'm gonna try and report and and the point is to say like it's not about, oh, you can't take a joke. It's about you have these people out there that are malicious and their intentions are malicious and reporting and doing these things. These are just menu options in like a basically a complex sort of information <laughs> yes. battle. You know, it's not like, oh, you know, may be a little different. My criticism about Medicare was specifically about his aloof, nihilistic attitude. Mm-hmm. My thing about the DMC is specifically about you and Ralph. Um, so, cause I, like, I don't, Medicare has always been against flagging, whatever. And I think he tries to be a little bit more honest. What I said about Medicare is I hate his fucking smug, aloof attitude. And I don't think he's funny. Um, but when I defend a oh, reporting or other tactics, again, I think you have to consider the totality of it, that it's like, well, the people like me in question, I've been banned from everything and I get defamed. And then it's like, oh, you try and fight back. Oh, well you can't, that's like violating the rules. Like, do you know where I'm coming from on that? Like, does that make sense? I I can understand that. And I like fully agree. I just think that one, the people that are engaging, I I think that, I think that tactics that a person who's an enemy of yours uses against you is 100% fair game. Like if, if, if there's somebody who's like organizing a mass flagging campaign around somebody, I think that person should have a mass flagging campaign organized around them. The people that Ralph is doing though, aren't doing that. But like, okay, 
Is like Nick, no one, no, no one, no one's saying that. Like, this retard trying to talk in the background. Like this guy's a nobody. Will he just shut the yeah, fuck up? Yeah, dude, Pearson's about to handle it for you right Seriously. now. Seriously, well, this guy just shut the fuck up. Like, oh, it's a good thing Ralph got kicked off YouTube or anything like that. Nick, are you saying you report people who are just like? Who just, is this autist? Is it is it his Shotokan buddy? What what is going on? How's he even in the stream? Vosh or like people who make the cat boy joke as well? Like, what are you saying here? I report people that are trying to maliciously harm my reputation and harass me, which is by, uh, people by making a joke about the cat. Um, how, how about like people going on Twitter and saying you're a pedophile and the FBI is investigating different. you for being a pedophile. Okay. But that's, that's what not what I asked. About here. Okay. Well, okay. I'm answering the real question here, which is <laughs> what are you reporting? It's malicious libel and slander and basically harassment like and it's and by the way I, you know i report people get banned and then they cry i'm not the one crying i'm banned from everything i'm rich nigga i'm rich and i have my website <laughs> and I'm, you know, I'm, happy. I'm not yeah. crying i'm rich bitch what the fuck People make fun of me all the time. I can laugh at myself. You know, I saw a video the other day. People said, dark maga, more like dark faggot. I was like, okay, like that's kind of funny. Okay. Um, but when people are out there and saying like, you like the insane things they say about me, well, oh, he's an avowed white nationalist. Oh, he's a pedophile. He's homosexual, whatever. It's like, okay, well now you're just, now you're perpetuating. You're a hostile person perpetuating slander in an information ecosystem. And yeah, of course I'm going to interrupt that. Like that's, especially when there's this asymmetry because of censorship. So, mm -hmm. You know, does that make sense to you? Other, who is this guy? Hal. Hal. I run the uh, Voshell's account. I think he used to follow me once. Oh, that guy's a faggot. Yeah, I know who he is. I know that account at least. When you, had yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Oh yeah, but you don't like me. I thought I thought you posted like. Uh, uh, I'm just I'm just not a fan. Yeah, you of posted that. shit about me. No, I didn't. What shit? I think you I did. Yeah. Shit about. No, I posted shit uh, about. Ralph. Yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> Or maybe you like something. I rem I remember maybe. there was some reason why I unfollowed. See, Nick's like me. Yeah, there's some reason why I unfollowed you. Yeah, exactly. I followed you. I think. You never. I don't think you ever unfollowed me. You were banned. I, I did. <laughs> yeah, um, I did. <laughs> yep. Yes, I remember that fucker. Oh yeah, I remember an unfollow. Oh yes, I did. Yes, I did. I remember those two. <laughs> you know, I posted shit about Ralph. <laughs> Or maybe you like something. I rem I remember maybe. there was some reason why I unfollowed you. I think. You never. I don't think you ever unfollowed me. You were I banned. Think I did. I don't remember. <laughs> In any case, <laughs> Hold on, yeah, I, I bet you don't remember. Oh, <laughs> this real quick. Mods, don't make me start the mod Holocaust early, because they're already banning Medicare fans in my chat. If I have to pause the Medicare and Nick debate just so I can show everybody demoding you guys, I will do it. So don't don't make me do that. Anyways, don't on. don't do it. Don't do it during the debate, but like yeah. show it on screen. I want my counters. Everybody's gonna watch me. I have like forty mods. You're all gonna be gone. The chat's just gonna go crazy. Uh, Chad, Chad, I think I have like six mods. But it is kind of seething at me. It's kind of funny. I don't know. I have to look. Yeah. Nah, I got more than six, but not not too many more. Oh, I I just, like and I'll say one other thing. Um. You know, people try to implicate like, oh, you're or insinuate, I should say. People say, oh, you know, Nick's opinion is really like, uh, you know, that that is making me think twice about cozy TV or whatever. Consider this. Flamenco watched the uh, uh, what is it? Kino Casino on a stream. <laughs> yeah. And, and that and like Flamenco, did I did I text you and say like you have to take the this off now? No, no, you didn't. No, of nope. Not. nope. And when and Rand Randbot was on so the Ralph report for months while he was there on Cozy. Go. I didn't hit up Ralph and say hey, this Randbot guy's got to go. Uh, I didn't talk to him about that at all, or or about you, Flamenco either. Yep. Same with um, Stu Peters. Have you? Hey, by the way, anybody? If anybody's concerned about whatever check the left side of the screen is Stu peter's channel still up because i i <laughs> went off on Stu peter's i thought he embarrassed me he fucked with me at f pack three last i checked he still does a show every night he here on the that, like he was the guy that specifically counter signaled hey. mtg right it told yeah. everybody hang hey, yeah. Stu peter's ass at ralph mania <laughs> All right. <laughs> what was that? So, you know, point being is people say, oh, it's because you can't take a joke or you want to eliminate all criticism. There's criticism of me on this website. And there are people that make fun of me on this website. 
Just con you know, and that's really not the problem. The problem is people that are maliciously trying to sabotage me and like then Stu they versus Woo oh, can't fight back against me. Like that's Whoa. bullshit, you know? Yeah. No, I uh, like I said, I the guilt by association shit with uh, Cozy with you. I think people were also going after Dick Masterson today. Like all that with uh, yeah, my beef with Ralph. It's just I'm not a not a big fan of it. So yeah, I, I get uh, it. I understand your position. Yeah. Um, because like people will take people will take their ongoing grudges and they'll kind of pick up like oh you, you got fucked with but we're gonna you know make this more about our current ongoing grudge or some shit like that and it's just like eh, I'm not not uh, not super big on that yeah well I mean you're you're a guy that can't stream on YouTube and lost the money so it's like yeah of course you would be against it I'm just saying like you know i'm just saying if like be, i was in your position mm. ralph's gonna like what happens next is what tenria said and when i was in your position i didn't let's go, go. Like, Th this isn't fair i i was like oh well <laughs> that's fuck you and i did you know and I <laughs> <laughs> i've been pretty fucking towards ralph throughout this entire thing but anytime yeah, I think uh, you should just like, respond yeah. i it like yeah. see, and here's the thing if i were you I would, I would like counter sue or I would, I would just go, maybe, maybe it's a difference in temperament or whatever. Maybe I just don't I'd have rather the same, not like, get to that position, but like yeah, the more, totally. the more lost income, the more like, okay, well I got to fucking, you know? Yeah. So I don't know if he's going to do it again. I don't know if this is like a one time deal who knows. So I guess we'll find out. Yeah. I, I have a question. I have a Ooh, question. you going to do it again? So yeah. as far as the whole uh, defamation thing is concerned, this See, is stay specifically tuned, for how. So it's cool for people to go call Ralph a rapist and do all of this stuff. But, you know, it's just jokes, too, right? That's just jokes. I'm not calling Nick a pedophile when I make fun of the cat jokes and stuff. Which I don't really make what we're talking about. I just think it's kind of funny. It's not what we're talking about. That's not what he said. We're talking about the whole rape allegations or whatever with Ralph. And, you know, people using that against him. Trying to, like, dunk on him or whatever. Like, what is that You're talking about the Alice stuff, I assume? Yeah, I am. I don't know. that Those DMs were weird and stuff. I mean... But are they just jokes, or would you consider that I mean, defamation no. and Ralph be able to defend himself uh, in that regard? No, I mean, that's a serious thing, the rape stuff. But. Okay. Yeah, and that, that... He has no answer for that, obviously. That's the point, is, you know, and maybe that's because I see everybody online, they're like, you're reporting jokes. It's like, it's not jokes. Nigga, it's people posting my family's fucking address on Twitter. It's people threatening to kill me. It's people calling me a pedophile. It's people like Vosh. And, and it's one thing to say, oh, you're a cat boy. It's another thing to make up lies about that situation, which is what went on. It's mm -hmm. one thing to say, oh, you know, cat boy camis, whatever, or something. But to say, like, uh, again. Or to say that he uh, looks gay. Or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, make your you know, do your comedy routine or whatever versus, oh, he flew him out, you know, adding in shit that you, that's not true at all, just making up shit. It's out of thin air, which creates yeah. this totally different perception, yeah. which is exactly what happened. Because I did that stream with Catboy Cammy in the beginning of December, and, the, and nobody cared because that's, you know, everybody knew what it was about. And then the Vosh video comes out at the beginning of January or the end of December, but it came out weeks later. And then that's when all the controversy was ignited because he goes on the stream and says it was, you know, again, fabricated elements of the story uh, that made it seem like it was something other than it was. And that's when it turned into a big scandal. And so mm -hmm. you could say that he has a legal liability, malicious slander for the scandal, but you can't, you can't sue whatever. And the point is like, so reporting then, in my opinion, is a completely valid tactic. If somebody's goal is like reputational destruction, it's one thing to say, ha, 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 fuck you. It's another thing to pursue as a hostile yes. political actor, reputational destruction. And then you report that and then they go, oh, you don't believe in free speech. It's like, no, I don't believe in your freedom to lie about me and post my private information and threaten to kill me. Like, I think that's ridiculous. With the Ralph stuff specifically, though, I've never made any of those claims. 
Yeah, and I'm not. I'm so, again, like, I, set aside. he has, by the way, and he not only did he make those claims, he repeated those on Chemo Casino when I was on there with him for like five minutes. You know, yeah, you know, that's yeah. why. That's why. That's why. Like, I, I, I get that, and I get that temperament towards it, but like, I don't think it's anal- I, I just don't think it's analogous. You read the DMs on stream. That's not like making the claim. It was like a big deal. I, I flat out said. I flat out said that I don't think and Alice is. I, I think Alice is probably like one of the most unreliable fucking people out there. So you know, I, I I prefaced like all that coverage with that. So I don't know. Oh, that makes it better. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I mean, don't, Ralph I is don't, a gross uh, dude. I, yeah. I, I could say I wouldn't be surprised. surprised. I would this be who's this fucking hell faggot? This guy fucking sucks. Yeah, here we <laughs> okay. go. Here we go. Fat found it sounding faggot, dude. You sound like you're fucking overweight. You sound fatter than fucking Vosh, dude. Vosh posts your elbow like Hal posted a fucking LBs, dude. <laughs> Oh, how's a friend of mine, so... Yeah, well, he's yeah. a faggot, dude. Fuck him. Oh, did you fucking mute? Did you fucking mute? Like, no, mute you his mic faggot? is... His mic is, like, always fucking up. <laughs> yeah, always I'm sorry. I didn't... Right, I didn't right, my mic messed up. Yeah, break up the like, popcorn for this part. Amenko, <laughs> yes. you're a faggot, and I'm a true Ralpha <laughs> male. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Wooza. That was a. That was a. Hey, Beardson, where's your wife, by the way? This rules. Uh, divorced her. Uh, oh, boy. What, like, oh what do you wow. Mean? Where, wow, no, he didn't. Big Tech, he, yeah. didn't, he didn't do that. He no. did, dude. What a dummy, dude. He tried to go low on Beardson. Oh, no. That was a mistake for him. I, yeah. just, I haven't seen this clip, but I can just feel that that is a big mistake for him. We'll see how it turns out. You're fucking uh, slim fast, you fat, fat sounding motherfucker. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Where's my you heard me. I didn't fucking stutter. You sound fat, dude. You, like, fat. You're fucking low energy. I'm just like, that's the only reason I even hopped in here. I'm trying to watch this fucking stream. Okay. You just chime in with this like dumb low IQ nonsense. Like you should just shut up and let everybody else. All talk. right. I mean, I'm, I mean, Michael is here and I like Michael. So Michael's cool. Yeah. I tried to keep right. it civil. <laughs> no, this guy sucks. Okay. Yeah. You should play better. I just think okay. you're kind of a silly opinion. Boy, the real story is like. The, you have this like drama community that has launched this like race to see who can care the least. And now the lol cows have the upper hand where they're like, you know, yeah. oh, what are you mad online or something? LOL. Like, we're just, we just love to laugh. And it's like, oh, really? <laughs> Channel deleted, stream deleted. <laughs> no, 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 you can't do that. You broke the rules. And it's like, what? We just love to laugh. Bro, it's yep. just pixels on a screen. <laughs> Are you mad? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now you have to get a real job. Uh, whoa, whoa, I, you know, I just, I'm just laughing. You know, I'm so like, I also think there's something kind of gay when these niggas are like, it's just jokes, bro. Why are you taking it so personally? Okay, account deleted. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where is my livelihood, man? You know, you know, that's against the rules. Like, you're a fucking hypocrite. What happened to free speech? <laughs> I'm laughing, bro. I went for free speech. I'm laughing. I just love to laugh. So, like, I think that element of it is really gay. Like, Medicare the other day, he's like, oh, I just boy, love to laugh. therapy session. He woke up today and chose ass hurt. And then today he goes on Twitter and he's just like, He's a mess, man. He's a mess. <laughs> fucking, now you're playing the victim. It's like uh, I think I think you're the one playing the victim here. Actually, you know, you're so funny. about being reported. I'm, I'm, they're not a lot. Of, you know, I've just been laughing it up over here. So it's like yesterday we were laughing. Today we're crying and raging, and it's like you know now. Why are you so serious, huh? I, I'm I'm just laughing. <laughs> We're I, uh, just laughing over here, Cozy. Point. What's the problem? No, you don't understand. Cozy's a mess because other mm. people on another platform that's totally alien to us, we have nothing to do with. They're having a bad time. <laughs> that, you know, and we should all oh, be no. just like, oh no, Go- yeah. Cozy streamers, stop! YouTube drama streamers are having a hard time right now. No, I'm not trying you to know, make it about like, Cozy. My beef is explicitly with fucking Ralph. So I mean, yeah, it's I, like I, I'm not uh, like yeah, uh, yeah uh, obviously, uh, yeah, obviously, he doesn't. Want that, that uh, thing is so yeah. fucking gay, but Mr. Medico's channel is being flagged and you're <laughs> laughing. <laughs> 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 
I do. <laughs> I do. How dare you, Mr. Medicare, the king of faggotry? His channel is being flagged. How could you laugh? It's just like it's, it's like not. everybody. Everybody. By the way, so Flamingo's obviously he's. You know, I think I think most people have the read on him now. I would hope, but. Um, Again, you know, it's one thing being in the stream where guys, like, of course, it's nothing about you. You know, if I was in there too, I'd probably be like, well, okay, yeah, whatever. But I think everybody knows, um, yeah, what he's all about. So like hyperbolic about it too. Like everyone's like, there's not going to be any more content ever on the internet with if everybody keeps this up. It's like, yeah, I mean, dude, that's how it's been for fucking four or five years, man. It's like, yeah, welcome uh, to our world. Yeah, yeah like. like Welcome like, to Ban oh, World, bitch. Boo hoo! You won't be able to talk about what fucking like H three H three is talking about today. Like, oh god, the world is going to be at a huge <laughs> fucking loss for some reason. Like, get real, man. I think it's fun content to watch sometimes. I don't yeah, like you because you you're fat. You watch it on a treadmill. Right, <laughs> <laughs> you fat sounding. I think fucker. it's fun content. I've never to been watch told sometimes. sometimes. Sure. Well, guess what? A wake up call. This is your fucking. This is your intervention right now. <laughs> fucking lose weight. Uh, fat sounding. Uh, have you Have you seen what you look like, Beards? And I have. It's yeah, I have. Yeah, it's I'm a fucking weird. handsome Chad. Have you no. heard what you sound like? Because you sound fat. No. And you're like kind of interesting and boring. No, come yeah. on. You look like a soy boy. Let's be real. Oh man, you got me, soy boy. Soy boy, literally, soy though. Boy. Literally, literally, like, literally, you literally okay. look like a soy boy. Yeah, okay, come on, man, get real. You done? Come on. All right, what do you? What do you? What's your deal? Like you run a fucking uh, Vosh I mean, posts his owls yes. or something? That's your fan that's account. Your claim to fi- wow. Dude, yeah, he runs fucking, the Vosh fan account, basically. Yeah. Fucking clip channel. <laughs> <laughs> wow, your claim to fame is you make clips, dude. Of other people, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're a real. You're a real fucking winner here in the content <laughs> show. Dude. Hey, uh, here's a fucking clip. Clo- go clip some fucking lbs off your fucking weight scale. You fat sounding piece of shit. How about that? <laughs> These so niggas it's a fun, would be it's a fun nothing, account, right? nothing it's a, without us. It's a, it's a fun no. account. To, nigga, you are literally a fucking bottom feeder, dude. Like, you don't make any content of your own. You literally just sit around and clip people, man. Like, you're, you're a fucking, like, vulture. Like... You, and you're like acting like you're some hot shit or something like sh- like every I've never I've said I am. You. I just like to talk, dude. Yeah, and you well, should shut stop the fuck up. You're not good at it. You should stick to clipping. Mm. Yeah, I don't know about yeah. There's that. a reason you're a clipper and not a yeah, streamer. No. <laughs> That's a very good reason. Wants to hear what you have to yeah, say. Yeah, just stay in your lane, faggot. Yeah, well, I do. The consensus is in. You suck. By who? By me, nigga. By, by me. me. The true Ralph of males. Yeah, what's up, Wooz? I don't think Let's so. Let's go. That's that's the thing. See, I love Ralph because he's a Ralph of male. Wizard. Like, I have to say, you know, people were every every year. It's like every nine months something happens, and everyone's like, Ralph is so over. This time he's finished, and like this is actually making me like Ralph more <laughs> over time. Like, <laughs> I, I probably yeah. like Ralph less before <laughs> each of these successive things, and like to see him just persevere like everyone hates him everyone's talking shit about him everybody's saying like that makes it go the other way around for me it's like maybe maybe you would have had a point maybe if somebody said oh ralph did this i'd be like okay he got a point but i love this like everyone hates him everybody's fucking disgusted by him and they all go in and he just comes out on the other side. He gets punched in the face. He gets beat up in Portugal. <laughs> all, like, he's all this weird sex stuff comes out. I'm like, there he is every day doing his fucking show. And uh, like, I, I just respect that, that tenacity. I respect the, the perseverance and the tenacity. Like, that aspect of it, you have this is just like admirable in my opinion. He's a true Ralph of L. Who can see him? Who can see him? Like. How do you, you, you know, again, I don't love everything the guy does. I think a lot of the stuff he does is kind of weird, you know, at least the scandal <laughs> stuff that comes out. And yeah, maybe it's different, but I think he's funny. There's a couple weird things in there. But he's funny as fuck. And I, I, yeah. I like an underdog. I like yeah. everybody hates. <laughs> when everybody hates a guy, and then that guy proves everyone wrong and survives. So yeah, that's the I best. Respect it. Can I cut in real quick for a second? Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.